Hello everybody and welcome back and yep, I'm Embrox and we've reached the spinners in the Ninjago line. This is set number 70633, Kai Spinjitsu Master, though everybody just refers to these as the spinners in the LEGO community from what I've heard. Uh, it retailed for $10 originally with 61 pieces and one minifigure. So uh, you can see it has this sort of side build. I guess this is small. We can take a look at this first. It has two flames because that's Kai's ele element if you aren't familiar. And then it has two stands that's built up nicely for these dragon blades, which I know a lot of people will be interested to get in a $10 set. The minifig can hold them there. There is like a dragon head and then the blade coming out with like the dragon's golden flames coming around it and that is nice i think that this uh build right here uh looks very elegant right here so putting that off to the side we are looking at the spinner so the spinner is very basically built up uh we got some exposed studs and then uh, he, uh what happens is you basically build a core and then there's studs at the side where you attach all these pieces so we got <coughs> some tiling back there uh, that's sort of Kai's um, emblem or logo, whatever you want to call that. And we have some golden pieces here. A lot of the spinners are built alike. For example, another spinner not included in the set is Kai, uh, is Cole's. And you can see just the colors are swapped out and the logo. So anyway, the way these work is... By the way, you see all these scratch marks on it? Yeah, that's from me playing with it. Okay, you're going to get a clear, nice one as soon as you open the box. If not, Lego should refund you. So anyway, you pull on this, and then he spins. That's one way of doing it, just throwing him out there. I'm going to show you the three most basic ways about how you can really do that. That's one, and then another one of them. You see how you load them, you just push this through. So anyway, another one is letting it roll. And Good thing I had a little sort of kind of basket to catch that for me. And the third one, doing it upside down. So yeah, that's uh, basically how the whole spinner function works. Uh, just having to get it. So um, basically how this works is when you put the cord in, you see those pieces, it just moves it. Then when you pull it fast enough, it spins. So anyway. Mm, the way this works is uh, there's a little lock mechanism there. You just turn it to unlock it. This is one single specialized piece. And then we have this sort of pod. Um, this whole glass piece removes and it has some pinholes that fit into these. And you can see uh, it's open there just uh, a little bit. And that little gap in the floor right there is where you put high so that's how he fits in there and I'm just gonna really quickly review him right now um so yeah this looks very nice as the other spinners you can't really fit his uh, swords in there because he is a um because like the pod doesn't have space for that so they include two shurikens which I think uh, sorry about that are nice the shurikens if you didn't know came in a pack of two so in the set you get two extra of those which is nice uh, you see on that black, we have some very subtle but nice uh, golden printing. And then you have his element just bursting out of his chest or torso. I very much like that, that flame right there. Um, back torso printing is also flame and his emblem. And then, yeah, that, that again looks good. Uh, he has the new helmet for Season 8, Sons of Garmadon, where this pulls out. And it's two separate pieces. In the Ninjago movie, they had those just in black, but... Now they're having those in all sorts of colors, all the ninja colors. Here's one of his faces, the sort of happy face, uh, using the Lego Ninjaga movie face. And then here's the more mad one. So what do I think on the set on the whole? A lot of people will be um, like, this is too specialized, but yeah, it, it pretty much is. You know, we got the ripcord, we got... And then we got all these specialized pieces. But, you know, these have been existing. So, putting that uh, side of fact, I think that this is a fun set, you know. Uh, a lot of kids will get a lot of play value out of this. And, like, it's a toy company for kids. And I feel like yeah, they'll even have more play value than they might have with other actual Lego sets. 
because this you can do all sorts of stuff with. It's not your regular Lego toy, and it comes with a nice figure and a nice weapon stand. Here are all the other ones advertised, by the way. Lloyd's is the worst, don't get him. The figure isn't exclusive. It's just the exact same one from the Lego Ninjago movie sets. And his stand is so simple. He has basic weapon. Uh, all the other ones look cool, though. I have cools. Should review it next. And I actually got that uh, because someone gave it to me as a gift. But that's it for this review. I hope you like it. Please subscribe, leave a comment down below. And I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye.